joining us for this COVID-19 briefing for Wednesday, August 5th. Uh, we will start with today's numbers. These are for all of our healthcare organizations, Forest General, Merritt Health Wesley, Hattiesburg Clinic, Semurai, and the Moffitt Health Center at Southern Miss. As of this morning, 41,134 tests have been conducted since this began in March. 4,732 have come back positive. 35,283 have come back negative. We have 1,112 tests which are pending. In terms of hospitalizations, the um, the trend that we, the dip, the small dip we saw in hospitalizations reversed itself today. We have 88 people between Merritt Health Wesley and Forest General who are positive for COVID. Uh, that is just under four above where we've been the last two weeks. We have 15 patients who are under investigation right now. In terms of ICU, uh, we're back over the average for the last two weeks. We have 36 uh, that are um, most acute um, in, in the ICU right now between our two hospitals. Uh, this is kind of how that's laid out. Um, we obviously saw the, the dip from the middle of the weekend to now that number's obviously going back up. Uh, we hope that it will uh, bend again and start heading downward, but uh, right now just under 90 in the hospital. Uh, we have we talked to our hospitals this morning. Um, both of our hospitals' ICUs are filled right now. Uh, they're in their backup plan right now. Uh, one hospital had two acute beds. Um, the other one had a few more. Um, obviously, though, we are, we're going to go we're at, we've been at a critical point in terms of uh, health care capacity. Uh, Forest County saw two new deaths today to take their number to 57. Uh, Lamar County, uh, 13. We have 70 in the metro area combined. We've had nine in the past seven days. New positive cases for today. Um, unfortunately, the trend uh, that we were seeing, uh, lower cases, reversed itself again. Forest County had 48 new cases. Lamar County had 31 new positives. Uh, taking the metro area one day, new positive total was 79. Um, totals as of now, Forest County 1701, Lamar County 1177, uh, metro area 2878. Five-day average, this is where we take the number of new positive cases on a single day, and then we average it with the two days prior and the two days after. Uh, the, the downward trend over the weekend now has reversed itself, uh, as I said before. Uh, both Forest and Lamar counties are back up, which means our metro area total is back up as well. The inside 14-day count, because this disease has a lifespan, usually of 14 days or fewer unless there's an adverse reaction, uh, the inside 14-day number is the number of people whose positive tests have come back in the past 14 days. Uh, it is not an exact estimate, but it is an estimate nonetheless of how many potentially active cases you have in your community. And so right now in Forest County, that number stands at 434, um, back up uh, about 10 from yesterday. Lamar County uh, up to 331. Um, this is kind of how that's laid out, uh, both, uh, again, well over where we were a month ago, um, and we hope that those numbers turn around. Mm -hmm. Statewide today, 1,245 new cases. We have 51 new deaths statewide. Our goals, want to continue protecting those vulnerable populations, people over the age of 60, people with underlying or chronic health conditions. Those are the folks, if they get COVID-19, they're more likely to end up in the hospital or worse. Uh, which takes us to our second goal, is preventing the overrun of the healthcare system by slowing the spread. I'll talk to you again. Um, both ICUs and our hospitals are, are, are hit their initial capacity. They're now in their backup plans. And we will continue prioritizing public health while giving the private sector the space it needs to operate creatively. Our four factors, widespread availability of testing, uh, the wearing of masks, watching our data, and then listening to all voices. And, and one of those voices that we, uh, we know is of critical interest right now it involves our schools. Uh, every every Monday, every sorry, every Wednesday, we have a stakeholder call uh, with both of our counties, our emergency management. We have all of our school districts, uh, our universities, and community colleges uh, to talk about what's going on. And and I will tell you that um, if if you have a child in a public school or a private school in 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 Forest and Lamar County, uh, I, I can't say enough about the work that's been put into these reopening plans. Um, in, in unprecedented times by all of our schools and school districts. And so uh, these, we're giving you this information that, that most of our schools had a curveball thrown at them yesterday when, when Governor Reeves issued his executive order. And so uh, the plans they had have been changed. There's, they're likely to change again. And, and I, I, I want you to know to, to show patience throughout this, even though I know families are trying to make plans. Um, we are giving you the information the best we know it uh, as of the call this morning. Again, these could change. If you have specific questions about your school district's plans, I encourage you to reach out to them directly. Uh, but here's what we know from our call this morning. 
If you're if you have a child or grandchild in the Hazard Public School District, um, there is a delayed start for all grades until August 17th. And even at August 17th, all classes will take place virtually for all grades. Uh, September 8th, the uh, in-person instruction will begin, but it will be done on a hybrid staggered plan. Uh, and that's for K through 11th grade. If, if your child's last name begins with A through J, you will start on the 8th. If your, if your child's last name starts with K through Z, um, it will start on Tuesday. And they will continue to alternate to try and space people out uh, each day going forward. 12th grade will be completely virtual as of now. And unless you're a high school student participating in a dual enrollment program with a community college or university, and you will stick to that schedule. And so, uh, as you'll see with all of these schools and school districts, masks are required for faculty, staff, and students. Uh, PCS, um, they are still planning to continue and open classes August 11th. And um, as with all of our schools and school districts, there is a virtual option that you can take if you do if not feel comfortable going to in-person classes. Uh, and those in-person and virtual classes right now will begin as of August 11th. Sacred Heart, um, August 6th, pre-K through 6th grade will continue and start as scheduled in-person instruction um, unless they're choosing to participate virtually uh, through August 17th. And so as of August 17th, 7th and 12th grades will begin uh, uh, will will begin in person, but from now August 6th to August 17th, if you're grade 7 through 12 at Sacred Heart, you will go online just virtually to class and until August 17th, which will start instruction uh, in person. Uh, Forest County Schools they have delayed start for all grades until August 17th. Uh, August, August 17th, K through 6 will return for in person instructions. They're still weighing their options for 7th through 12th grades, and again, um, delayed start for all grades until August 17th. Uh, Petal School District, they are delaying the start again until August 17th. Uh, August 17th, students with the last names beginning with A through L will return. August 18th, students with M through Z will return. And then by August 19th, all students will resume in person. Again, this is all as of this morning. Uh, Lamar County School District, of course, they were not in the gover governor's order. Um, and so the, their plan is August 13th, middle and high school students will return for uh, in-person instruction unless they opted for virtual learning. And all students at Baxterville and Lumberton will return, uh, but then they will not come back until August 17th. August 14th, the elementary students will return if they have opted for in-person instruction, uh, unless they've opted for virtual. And then August 17th, all grades at all Lamar County schools will return and begin their scheduled academic year. Uh, for our university, Southern Miss, they will start August 17th. I know we have some students moving in this week. Um, but they will be online completely for three weeks. And then as of September 8th, the in-person instruction will resume. I will say 75% of the classes offered at Southern Miss this fall will be done online. Uh, William Carey, uh, their classes will begin August 24th. Uh, the classes are being offered both virtually and by in-person, but I do believe the majority of their classes will be online as well. Uh, PRCC plans to begin classes August 17th. They're offered both virtually and uh, in-person as well. Um, the big thing is everyone is being stretched right now in terms of administrators and superintendents and school boards and principals and teachers. Uh, please show your patience and appreciation to all of these people who are trying to uh, reopen schools and do so safely. There, there is not a, there's not a playbook for this. Uh, they are trying to listen to CDC guidelines, the state health department guidelines, and our state health officer and the governor. Uh, while watching their own local data, and, and that's not, it's not going to be a perfect combination, and, and we're going to have to be flexible, as frustrating as it can be if, you, if you're planning to try and figure out plans for your family. Um, but please continue to show uh, your school administrators and your teachers and principal as much patience as you can, because we're all kind of working through this together. And again, everything that we've shown you today is information that we know as of this morning. Uh, if you have specific questions, uh, please reach out to your school or your school district directly. And finally, our act of courage goes to Edward Street Fellowship today. Today, they distributed 1,500 food bags, but they also uh, tried to take care of another issue we're having. That's, again, census participation. We'll be hitting on that a lot over the next uh, month and a half. Um, encouraging folks to not only, uh, with their food, to go online, fill out HattiesburgCounts.com, click on the link to go to your census form, because that means a lot for our area in terms of funding for lots of different things. So uh, HattiesburgCounts.com, if you have not already, fill out your census form. As we continue in the week, remember to wash your hands, take care of yourself, wear a mask, go out in public, do only what is essential, remember you're safe at home, and please be kind to one another, and have a good rest of the evening.